Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And um, we're continuing here in Cumber. And what we're here to do now is we're actually here to talk about John Wesley and the Methodists. Because uh, through my good friend uh, Desi, the Cumber historian, I have come to realise that actually Wesley preached here three times in Cumber. Um, because I was reading one of Desi's articles and uh, he mentions it. So Wesley actually visited here on three occasions in 1758, 1760 and also in 1762. Now I have to say, a lot of places where I go, Wesley always seems to pop up and he was an incredible man, mightily used by God and a great servant of the Lord. And you have to remember, he went about on horseback. There was no cars, no airplanes. And uh, so he definitely done uh, tremendous work for the Lord Jesus Christ. Of course, there was opposition from the uh, ministers of Cumber. But we uh, have some detail of Wesley's 1760 visit. And I just have to watch getting across the road here first. And so Wesley began to preach, presumably in the open air, as soon as the normal church service was over. That was the Anglican church, of course. And we're told that four out of five of the audience actually behaved well, which was pretty good for those days because a lot of times Wesley's life was in peril. Now, in the early days, there was no church building and the conventicles actually met in private houses. And it wasn't until 1820 that the uh, Cumber Methodists actually built what then was called a mission station in Newtown Street, which is now the street that we're on here, Bridge Street. And it was formally opened on the 22nd of December, 1822. And the minister was Matthew uh, Langtree. Now, a plaque... Uh, in, a plaque was actually uh, built into the stonework according to the original name and the date being 1820 and also the words in an outer ring said glory to God in the highest and on the earth peace goodwill toward men. Now that building was deemed unsafe and so it was knocked down in 1995 but this building here this has they have been holding holding services here in the hall that was opened in 1977 and as far as i know this is the same hall that was opened back then in 1977 and you can see the sign here it says methodist church may the god of hope fill you with all joy and peace and that's romans 15 verse 13 and as you can see, the other sign says Methodist Church, and it says Cumber Methodist Church meets here, and so it gives you the the details. And so this is the building here. Then, uh, of course, as I say, it's not the original building um, because it was deemed unsafe, but still a still a fantastic building, and still a fantastic piece of history here with uh, the Methodist movement and John Wesley and Cumber. And I was shocked when I, when I read that article that John Wesley had actually been to Cumber. He, uh, he's been all over the country now. He was a fantastic servant of God, there's no doubt about it. There's a wee poster there and it says, living wholeheartedly as followers of Jesus for the transformation of the world. And then it says, the Methodist Church in Ireland so that's the building there then. And I don't know where the original stone plaque is inside the building or not. It's certainly not on the outside, as you can see. And I had a look around the side and there was no sign of it. So we'll try and have a wee look in here and see what we can see, if we can see anything at all. <laughs> and there's not a big lot to see. And I'll just read the wee sign up above the door there, as you can see. It says Cumber Methodist 
church. And so there you are. This church here. Of course, we know that the building's not the church. The actual people who are born again of the Spirit of God who are saved are the actual church. We are the body of Christ, aren't we? But we can see the fruit here of the, the labors of John Wesley in those early days of Methodism. And so it was a tremendous work here done in Cumber by the Lord. And so if you enjoy the channel, please like and subscribe. God bless.